Hi, I'm Marie and I'm going to show you how I use masking fluid to create the white scales on the cap of this striking red mushroom. I take my old brush because the masking fluid will never come off completely so don't use your good ones and I paint on the masking fluid wherever I want to save my white areas while I paint the rest of the cap red. Once I finish covering all of the areas where my white scales will be, I let my masking fluid dry thoroughly, which only takes 10 to 20 minutes as long as you haven't put it on too thick. I take my large brush and add a water glaze over the whole top area of my mushroom, being very careful not to leave any puddles of water on my paper I want it nice and even. Then taking a thick mix of my red paint, I apply it to the cap. Now, as you can see, I'm leaving the central area lighter for the moment so that I can create a paler area of red here. And I'm carefully working around my edges. Then I add in more paint where I want a deeper red colour. And I take a darker colour mix to add around the edge. I'm really working on my tonal values here to create a curved looking surface. So it's paler in the centre where the light is hitting the highest point of the object and slowly moving out to a darker edge. I let this layer dry completely and then with a much deeper mix of my red I paint it in to really enhance the colour, still working around the highlighted area in the centre. So here I just use my clean damp brush to blend the edges of the red into the lighter area, creating a smooth transition. And again, once that layer is dry, I come back in and darken up the edge again. Once I'm happy with my red area, I let it dry completely again and then come in either with a clean fingertip or an eraser and remove all of the masking fluid. And I'm just rubbing my finger over the paper to make sure that it's all completely gone. And I have all of my white areas saved. So now I want to soften them in with the rest of the surrounding colour. I'm using a much lighter wash and I want to be really careful here that I don't lose the contrast that I've created. So less is definitely more at this stage and just remember that you can always continue to build on the white areas until you're happy with them. But if you apply too much paint all at once, you won't be able to remove it and regain the whiteness of the paper. I just work my way over it, adding in some of the red detail that can be seen around the edges or in between the whiter scales. If you'd like to see the whole tutorial, the link for the Watercolour Members Club is below. I hope you've enjoyed this quick techniques video. If so, don't forget to like and subscribe so that you don't miss my new upcoming tutorials. Thanks for watching and goodbye for now.